what advice can you tell people to um, cope with all this coronavirus and all that and the isolations? It's very, very difficult. It's a very, very tough question. I haven't worked since March the 16th. Yeah. And I've been very, very disappointed about that because I love what I do. I love who I work with in terms of young people. I love being able to share and help those people develop as human beings. I've got no way forward in terms of my work. I can't change the rules. I can't have 300, 400, 500 people in a room to suit my own ego. So in these sorts of situations, and I've been in them many times, and I'm talking about situations of crisis, mm. the number one thing you have to do is come back to zero. So I took myself back to zero. And that means that you're just sitting down and you're thinking, what's the landscape look like for me? I've got 24 hours in a day, and this is exactly what I do. I need to get eight hours sleep. Doesn't always work out that way, but I need to get eight hours sleep. Yeah. Yeah. I need to eat well, I've got a choice. I sit at home eating junk food because I'm in coronavirus or I keep eating well, yeah. okay, I'm gonna eat well. I've got more time on my hands so I can train even a little bit more and a little bit more intensely than I was. Okay, sleep, eat, train. Okay, how are my relationships looking? First relationship is with myself. How am I feeling about myself? What do I need to do to make myself feel good each day? Yeah. How am I relating to my family, my friends? Who am I contacting? Why am I contacting them? Am I contacting them to have a sook or a whinge or a wine? Or am I contacting them to have a positive conversation? Yeah. Do I want to surround myself with those negative energies or positive energies? Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not talking about waving fish above my head and chanting 10 times. Yeah. I'm just talking about doing basic things very, very well. Yeah. And if you're doing those basic things very, very well, all of a sudden you're eight hours of sleep, you've done some training for the day, you've contacted some friends, you're pulling the time down that's free to a level which is more manageable rather than sitting there going, I'm bored, I can't do this, I'm gonna eat yeah. this hamburger, I'm gonna have these chips, whatever. You know, again, what you're doing here today, what you're viewers and your listeners have a chance to do is work on the same theory. I've got some time here. How will I invest that time? Yeah, that's right, man. Yeah, really. And don't get me wrong, every day you can't be some sort of perfect performance. Every day you can't invest it perfectly, but I still keep an old school diary. I'm not yeah. sure if you do, but I like to open it up every day and I like to see, right, this is what I'm doing today. This is how I'm doing it. These are the things that I'm looking at in this next little period of time. Okay, that's next week. Well, so I can tell you this weekend, as an example of something that your, again, your viewership, your listenership mightn't be able to quite get their head around, but it's so important. This weekend, I need to really cut loose. Yeah. I need to have a weekend full of music. I need to have a weekend full of friends. Can I have 20 people at my house this weekend? No, I can't. Yeah. But I can invite a couple of friends around, you know, family, whoever it may be, have something nice to eat, listen to some music, all this sort of stuff, because you can't just keep trying to hit the red line all the time. You need to be able to back it off too. Yeah. Mm. Maybe that means sitting and reading a book. Maybe that means sitting, listening to a podcast. Mm. But hustlers, hustlers can't hustle 24-7. If you yeah. do, you just run out of energy and you start making dumb mistakes. Yeah. But if you, you get your hustle on, you work hard at something, then you pull back a little bit and say, I need a little bit of time for myself now. You gotta balance yeah. it out. Yeah. Balance it out, absolutely. And that's such a key each and every day and everyone balances things differently. For me, my balance comes through my fitness, yeah. my music, and my writing. Mm. They're the three areas that I use to balance my life. The most important one for me is, is probably my fitness Probably, I say probably because it's neck and neck with music. My writing is probably the next tier down. Without music, without fitness, I don't know where I'd be. I'd probably be dead.